Namaskar on the occasion of Nari Shakti Week I would like to reiterate what our honorable prime minister narrated to quote from financial inclusion to social security quality health care to housing education to entrepreneurship many efforts have been made to put our nari shakti at the forefront of india's development journey these efforts will continue with even greater vigor in the coming times unquote moreover the motive of current science and technology ecosystem is to empower science by the contribution of women and not just empower women via science women should not be termed as beneficiaries of development instead they set the agenda for development and are key to achieving the 2030 goals as leaders and equal participants over the last century eradication of gender disparities has emerged as a key driver for inclusive and sustainable economic growth sustainability is subjected to one's perspective but women's role in it cannot be ignored be it from any front economic social or political by empowering half of the potential workforce tangible economic benefits unfold beyond the horizon of gender equality leading to global sustainability thus women empowerment for sustainable development is not only important but the dire necessity as per the united nations during the last 15 years our global community has made great efforts to inspire and engage females in the science and technology area yet women and girls continue to be excluded from participating fully in science at present less than 30% of researchers worldwide are women unesco has also been taking up the challenge to address this issue through research policy and capacity building work as part of its efforts to promote the empowerment of girls and women through education for india to become a 5 trillion economy reducing gender disparities within the economic domain must play a pivotal role this can be achieved by increased participation of women in science and technology and stem research as we stand on the brink of next industrial revolution stem that is science technology engineering mathematics and medicine educations are critical for accelerating technology led economic growth and consequently india's future development and as seen in many other sectors women empowerment in snt will lead to inclusive innovations independent india's ties with science and technology began with the vision of social transformation through snt application and this very initiative has experienced leading participation from visionary women who contributed to shaping the destiny of the country india has achieved several milestones during the country's scientific journey by tracking the remarkable progress made in a wide spectrum of disciplines from space research and missile technology to computing and oceanography by her daughters in science the feats of savitri bai phule kadambini ganguli biva choudhary ek jaan ki amal rajeshwari chatterji asima chatterji anna mani are some of the glorious examples among women who dare to dream of not only getting educated but also showcasing professionalism and leadership in stem sector in contrast to the previous timeline the first two decades of this millennium appears more populated with many young women scientists leading institutions and winning major science awards in india leaders like sujatha ramadurai first mathematician to win ramanujan prize aditi sande quantum computation physicist jyotirmayi dash organic chemist chandrima saha first woman president of insa are continuing to set milestones in scientific pursuit the times have changed and we are experiencing participation of dynamic women in leading roles in snt sector both in national and global fronts as g20 chair india has identified women led development as one of the high priority subjects what are the challenges women are held back by biases social norms and expectations influencing the quality of education they receive 
and the subjects they study. They are particularly underrepresented in science, technology and engineering and mathematics, education and consequently in STEM careers. This gender disparity is alarming, especially as STEM careers are often referred to as the jobs of the future, driving innovation, social well-being, inclusive growth and sustainable development. In India, 43% of the total graduates in STEM are women, compared to 35% of the global average, which is one of the highest in the world. But only 14% become scientists, engineers and technologists. In the current times, the boundaries between the physical and the virtual world are blurring with the advent of emerging technologies whose future and scope are unparalleled. Without women participation, we will lack the dimension the scope and the spirit to clasp these changes. Women have a special lens and particular skill set to multitask, be more adaptive, be more resilient and be more innovative, all of which are needed for scientific and technological growth. To bridge the gap in gender inequality and improve the future of women in STEM, it will take a collective effort from teachers, industry leaders, society, government and individuals. We need to implement robust programs to build a strong pipeline of women through early mentorship, recognition of women role models, reskilling and engaging STEM education because strong STEM education creates critical thinkers, problem solvers and next generation innovators. The new science, technology and innovation policy recommends measures aimed at educating and retaining women in STEM. Government initiatives like KIRAN, which is knowledge involvement in research advancement through nurturing started under DST. West, women in engineering, science and technology. GATI, gender advancement for transforming institutions. Government initiatives like KIRAN, knowledge involvement in research advancement through nurturing started under DST. West, Women in Engineering, Science and Technology. Gati, Gender Advancement for Transforming Institutions. Curie, Consolidation of University Research for Innovation and Excellence in Women Universities. Biocare, Biotechnology Career Advancement and Reorientation Program have been realized to promote participation of women in STEM research and develop state-of-the-art infrastructure for women's universities. What is the way forward? Giving women equal opportunities to pursue and thrive in STEM career helps narrow the gender pay gap, enhances women's economic security, ensures a diverse and talented STEM workforce and prevents biases in these fields and the resulting products and services. Government and global organizations should ensure the necessities to encourage the involvement of women in STEM. Give girls and women the skills and confidence to succeed in STEM education. Improve STEM education and support for girls starting in early education. Work to influence, recruit and retain women in STEM majors and fields in college and universities. Improve job hiring, retention and promotion pathways and intentionally inclusive cultures. Gender equality, besides being a fundamental human right, is essential to achieve peaceful societies with full human potential and realize sustainable development goals. Thank you. Jai Hind.